हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर पूजा राज श्रीवास्तव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक डायलॉग राइटिंग और डायलॉग इज टिपिकली अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन टू और मोर पीपल इन अ नरेटिव वर्क इन जनरल डायलॉग इज रिटर्न और स्पोकन कन्वर्सेशनल एक्सचेंज बिटवीन टू और मोर पीपल दैट आर यूज टू कन्वे थाट्स इंक्वायर और शेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन द डायलॉग्स आर सिचुएशनल एंड हैव सम कॉन्टेक्चुअल बैकग्राउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल Friends can converse to discuss the review of a book. Students can ask questions or seek permission from the teacher or colleagues can converse on project related topics. We can conclude it with by saying that in a dialogue it is affected by three main elements. First, the relationship between the speakers as i mentioned earlier it may be two friends, colleagues, siblings etc. second the topic of conversation is based on the purpose of conversation the purpose may be sharing of information inquiring probing and so on and the third is the situation or the contextual background determines the style of conversation dialogue writing is a written composition in which two or more characters are represented as conversing as a literary and theoretical form dialogue serves several purposes it can advance the plot reveal a character's thoughts or feelings or show how characters react in the moment dialogues are an effective tool of communication and they are a very important form of composition while writing dialogue we must think about its structure first there are three parts of dialogue introduction main content and conclusion the introductory line should be the greetings while using greetings it is important to understand the relationship between the two that may be informal or formal obviously while talking to friends which is informal we say hi hello whereas in formal situations we need to greet with agreed norms we can greet according to the time and place for example saying good morning in the morning time The main content is related to the development of thought. To develop the thought, it is essential to understand the situation and the context. For example, if a student is asking for a permission or a boss is uh, discussing on the project, the thought development will be customized accordingly. There are certain tools that may help to continue dialogue. For example, asking a question, providing the information, or stating the facts, and so on. at the end we need to conclude dialogue writing by stating polite words like thank you for your help or thank you for sharing the particular information and at last by using the proper salutation like bye in informal situations and have a nice day in formal situations so while we are at it let's discuss how dialogues are written first thing in grammar that is essential to dialogue writing is punctuation commas quotation semicolon period exclamation question marks apostrophe all these punctuation marks portray the dialogue and its emotions to write a dialogue it is important to understand the topic being discussed the most important thing that we have to take care of is the use of tense tense of the dialogue should be used according to the situation like if a speaker is talking of something which has already happened then past tense sentences need to be used similarly if something is going on use present tense sentences and if something is yet to happen use future tense sentences then comes that it should appear to be natural and spontaneous for this use simple and relatable words rather than choosing ambiguous words which are difficult to interpret and then in this continuation it is like the words used should be to the point so that they convey the idea clearly now we will have a video on dialogue so that you can understand how the dialogues can be developed in a dialogue writing good morning ma'am good morning rohan ma'am i am not feeling well today May I go home early today? What happened? Oh my, what is the problem? I have a stomach ache. May I go home? 
What lecture or practical do you have next? Mom, I have your English practical at 4 p.m. Will you please excuse my absence? Sure. Rest for some time and get well soon. Thank you very much, madam. Take care of yourself and tell your parents to call about help. Get well soon. This is the example of dialogue between two friends regarding the schedule of a final exam and uh, you can refer it for your reference.